you you want to work here? Um, no, I will not be working in South Korea, but my contract ends in Thailand in October and I want to go to Lao. Have you heard of Lao? Lao? Well, maybe if you can type it on my yes. note. Can you type it? You may know it as Laos. Laos. Lao. It is north of Viet. No, north of Thailand and next to Vietnam. Oh, I know Laos. Yeah. You know, it's next to Vietnam, actually. Yeah, now it rings a bell. Yeah, I used yeah. to study word math and now yeah I, now i got it yeah i know where laos is amazing so i will go to lao and then i will go to hanoi to see my friends and then oh. to south korea oh wow well you know welcome and i yeah, yeah i hope you do lots of fun things here yes and i will visit in south korea in um, seoul and busan Oh, you're going to visit Seoul and Busan, the most famous places. Well, yes. yeah, enjoy. And well, do you have any plans in South Korea? Um, at the minute, no, but I will spend maybe four days in Seoul and four days in Busan. Do you have oh, any so recommendations? Uh, so actually, you know, I think, yeah, I know some places, but I don't know a lot about it. So, you know, I, of course, I know Gyeongbokgung. Yeah, have you ever heard of Gyeongbokgung? No. So it's a historic place in Seoul. And actually, it's a really big place. So maybe you you can see lots of things there if you go there. Yeah, I think lots of people visit. Yeah. And, wow. and also, yeah, I think, you know, if you search it on Google, you can find lots of good places in Seoul, but actually, I don't know a lot about Seoul because I'm not in Seoul and I'm not very interested in, you know, how do I say? Like, actually, I'm I'm not very good at social studies or, yeah, like, what was it? Map, something like that. So, wow, okay, yeah, but, like geography with maybe human geography. So, not yeah, human geography. maps, but about people, populations. That's right actually and i'm also pretty bad at it like you know i don't i'm not really good at memorizing so yeah that's why you know i don't really like it but yeah, yeah but you can find lots of good places so yeah hope you enjoy your travel. thank you korea. and where do you live in south korea do you live close to seoul or busan so actually i live in a city called daegu and it's pretty far from them yeah, it's oh, far okay. from Seoul and also far from, also pretty, very far from Busan. So have you ever heard of my city, Daegu? No, maybe. You can I can search. Sure, so this is the spelling, yeah. How do you, how do you say Daegu? Uh, Daegu, we say Daegu. Daegu, Daegu, ah, okay. Let me That's see. That's right. Yeah, you can search it. Daegu. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. So it is closer to Busan, but very far from Seoul. Yeah, very far from Seoul. And I think, you know, maybe you might think it's close to Busan on the map because, you know, map is pretty small. But actually, it takes a similar time to Seoul to, you know, uh, how do I say it? Well, actually, yeah. Busan is also very far from Daegu. You know, it takes five okay. hours, as I know. So, no, four. Wow. Well, I'm not really sure, but that's what I know. As far as I know, it's very far. So, yeah. Yes. So and far have city. you ever arrived on the bullet train? Uh, what was that? Can you say that again? Sorry. Have you ever taken the bullet train? Uh, bullet train? What is that? Is it a... I believe... A I believe there is a train that goes from Seoul to Busan that is very fast. The bullet oh, train? Oh, I think I know the train, but actually I never ride train. I've only ride train uh, 
for one time in my entire life. Actually, I ride train when I go to zoo with my uh, grandparents when I was really young. And that was the last time you know, I have ride trains. So yeah, I, I haven't ride the train to Seoul to Busan. Wow, that that's amazing though. I think when you are older, you will have so many places to see. Yeah, I think so too. You know, that's why I want to travel a lot. That's why, because, you know, I haven't traveled a lot. So I want to visit as much as place I can. So yeah, I'll definitely yes. ride the train. Also, you know, travel in South Korea. I'll visit lots of cities. And after that, I'll do work traveling. Yeah, that is my plan. Yes, definitely. And I know you are only 14, but what's your favorite subject? What would you love to study at university? Uh, so in university, maybe I want to study about business. I'm interested in business because I like Bill Gates. And also I'm interested in investing because I also like Warren Buffett. Uh, so yeah, I might study about them. But right currently, uh, I like PE and English. I like PE and English. They are my favorite subjects right now. Amazing. And do you, so you play football. Do you play lots of sports or only football? Uh, yeah, as you said, yeah, I play lots of different sports. I play badminton. I also play basketball, dodgeball, uh, baseball, literally every sports. And, and I think football and badminton is my football and badminton are my favorite. Yes. And in South Korea, what is the most popular sport among your people? Uh, well, actually, I don't know about most popular sports in South Korea, but maybe it might be baseball because I know lots of people follow baseball and you know, also lots of people watch baseball. And yeah. I think that's why baseball is the most popular sports. I think it's baseball or soccer, but I'm not really sure. I think it's yeah. baseball. Baseball. That's so... Um... So American, that's so interesting. Oh yeah, I think so too. By the way, what about there? Like, yeah, you said you're from Manchester and yeah, of, of course it's soccer, right? Yes, it is, it's football. And I think in Bangkok, Thailand, it's football too. Oh because, really? Yes, they, they love it here. Oh, oh, well, what's this, can you say it again? They, and they love football in Thailand. Oh, they love football in Thailand. Like, and does Bangkok, you know, have a soccer team? I think they do, but it doesn't play internationally. Oh, it doesn't play internationally, but they yeah. still like uh, football a lot. Maybe they can they can play internationally one day. Yes, maybe definitely. And David, if I am. Coming to South Korea, what would you say is the one food that I need to try? So, well, actually, you know, the, you know, the most famous food in South Korea, of course, it's kimchi. But, you know, I know, I think you have tried kimchi, right? In your country or kimchi, other Kimchi, yes. Yes, so I will introduce you the other food. So I think you can try... Uh, Bibimpa actually is a traditional Korean food. It's really delicious and you might like it. So so you put rice and some sauce. I think yeah, how to see a pepper sauce and also mm. some vegetables and some meat and then you mix it. So yeah, you eat it. I think yeah, it's actually really good. I can type it for you. Maybe you can yes. Google it. The, that would be great. Thank you. I think this is the spelling. Yeah, you can. Ah, is it like um, sushi, but not sushi? Uh, it's like, actually not like a it? sushi. It's kind of like a fried rice. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I can't wait to try. 
yeah maybe i think yeah you might like it because you know lots of people from other country they all love bimbap actually yeah i've spoken to lots of tutor who is who came to south korea and they all said they had bimbap and they you know they loved it so i think maybe yeah maybe you might like it as well yes i hope so and how do you say bibimbap yeah bibimbap that's what you said yeah well yeah you pronounced it pretty well you actually you sound like <laughs> korean when you said bibimbap yay I, yeah, that's you, great yeah i think yeah, you you have a really clear korean accent <laughs> that's great thank you david I, yeah. I remember also that is a dish. Can you tell me? It is like thick rice in a red sauce. Uh, well, like, what is like cylinders? Uh, well, can you explain? I think, yeah, I think it begins with T. It starts with T. Oh. And does it have a red sauce? Yes, a red sauce. Oh, I think it's tteokbokki. Wait, wait a minute. Let me try to spell it. Uh, well, it starts. I'll just yeah type for you in Korean. Maybe you can uh copy and Google it. Yeah, it is a really yeah. famous food. Yeah, it, this is called tteokbokki. Tteokbokki. Yeah. Yes, it's that. Do you yeah, like? So yeah, I really like tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is one of my uh, favorite foods. I really like it. And I think everyone likes it. Maybe, yeah, I. this is also a food that I want to recommend you. Like, you must eat tteokbokki when you come to South Korea. It's very famous, very delicious. Yeah, maybe you can eat every day, whole day. Yes. And what would you call the, the rice? It's very thick. What would you call that? So it's called tteok. And actually, oh. dog is a uh, Korean food. It's, it is made of uh, rice. Dog is made of rice and tteokbokki. Uh, like a yeah. rice cake? Yeah, it's kind of like a rice cake. Yeah, it is a rice cake, actually. And tteokbokki is a uh, you know, dog with uh, some sauce, very delicious sauce. And, you know, everyone likes it. You can also yeah. put, uh, what was, how does it call? Uh, you can also wait a minute can you translate this yes fish cake fish cake oh it's called fish cake yeah you can also with tteokbokki with fish cake and also with eggs so, yeah wow. i think it is a really famous food and also a really delicious food amazing well david it's coming to the end of our time now but i want to say thank you so much for our conversation today and now yeah, i know so much oh i'm glad to hear that yeah no, i really had a nice you know i really had a nice conversation and yeah it was really nice talking with you i hope you have a yeah. wonderful day thank you you too have a great day a great yeah. evening thanks see you, well, have a great day. See you.